Gary Wilde, first of all, um, give us your thoughts on the defeat um, at Southport on Sunday. Yeah, I thought we lacked a little bit of uh, zip and urgency, which we've had over <coughs> sort of the previous games. And certainly, you know, from the Forest Green game, uh, it seemed a little bit fat, uh, flat. Whether that was, you know, the two games coming up in sort of a day is difficult. But um, I think the one goal was probably always going to settle that game. And um, with the pitch the way it is now, you know, it, it is hard to try and break teams down. So, you know, fair credit to... Southport, they got the noses in front and um, worked the socks off to, to keep that lead intact. I suppose after four wins in a row as well, it was disappointing to sort of lose that momentum, wasn't it? Yeah, always disappointing to lose because, you know, in all fairness, we haven't lost that many sort of coming up to the 12 months now since I come back in as manager. Uh, so, yeah, always disappointing to lose, especially here at home. And, um, you know, after being on the good run, you know, we wanted to keep the momentum going and uh, unfortunately, what not to be. Um, one of the bright points was um, Luke Maxwell making his debut. Um, is he one of the ones you've been looking at for a while? Yeah, I think Luke's obviously a product of the academy who's come through, you know, and, and obviously that was one of the reasons that that was set up. So, on on the back of like Tyrone Williams, who's progressing well, um, Luke and Kennedy uh, have now come through there as well. So uh, that's obviously a great plus for the club with them both being local as well. And then Kennedy, obviously, um, he made his debut for a week, so I'm non contract yeah. terms. This week, signed professionally. Yeah. Um, you know, it's good to see those youth lads being used, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, like I say, with them both being local, Kiddy Minster uh, lads, you, you know, it, it's good to see them um, committing to the club. And uh, hopefully, the club can benefit from the academy and, and from the likes of them lads. Let's hope, uh, you know, they, them two are the first, of, uh, along with Tyro. Um, you know, long may that continue. Are we likely to see any more sort of introduced this season? Uh, I think it's a big step up uh, from from that level to to where we are definitely. Um, but um, I think those two lads, what they don't lack is the physical side of the game. They're both you know real massive lads for the for their age, and uh, you know that's obviously an advantage. And I'm sure there's a few more coming through at the minute who haven't developed physically like um, Kennedy and and Luke. And I'm sure yeah, uh, that, you know some of the talented players in the academy. Um, looking at the sort of new additions to the squad um, this month, there's been Jordan Tunnicliffe. Yeah. Um, he's come in um, in Josh's absence. He's done really well, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he's done fantastic to come in in, in two tough games. You know, against the likes of um, John Parkin and Lee Hughes, Richard Brody, Southport. You know, experienced uh, players at this level and higher. And I think um, Jordan's come in and and done really well. And um, you know, I'm pleased for him. And uh, again, for a young lad. Hopefully he can keep improving and uh, I'm sure he'll do well. There's also obviously um, Jamie Spencer and Quasi Asante yeah. coming in. How are they set them in? Yeah, very well. They've settled down. Obviously we've seen a little bit of uh, a Quasi who's, who's playing catch-up in terms of he's been out a long time. But certainly in the training and the glimpses we've had of him in the pitch, you know, he's going to be useful for us. And um, Jamie, you know, it was always going to be a slightly longer term thing with him. But he's a guy who can score goals and... What we've seen of him at the minute, um, you know, no reason why he couldn't go on and do that here. Um, and then there's Keon Raphael as well, who's joined uh, yeah. Port Talbot. You must be looking forward to introducing him. Yeah, it's been a long wait for him. Obviously, we need the uh, clearance, international clearance sorted out as he's moving from the uh, uh, Welsh, the Welsh League. But yeah, you know, he's another one who I'm sure you know will give us uh, a little bit more strength in the squad and somebody who's going to be valuable to us uh, as soon as he gets his clearance and he can start getting involved. Um, look ahead to Thursday's game, um, face Forest Green again after a mm. good win at their place on Boxing Day. Yeah, I think it'll be tough. Um, you know, they showed at their place that they've got a lot of good players and they're capable of causing problems for, for us and, and lots of other teams. And I'm sure it'll be a slightly different game, you know, played on a different service to the one at Forest Green. But uh, nonetheless, it'll be difficult and uh, we'll have to be our very best to get anything out of it. Uh, we know Callum Gittings and Adam Verma didn't feature against Hyde yeah. um, How are they looking at the moment? Yeah, the, hopefully they'll both be back in contention because you know the, it, their injuries was more sort of knocks and bangs and, and bruises, which obviously this quick turnaround didn't allow them to recover properly, uh, pro uh, properly. Uh, so hopefully you know they've had a few more days now and uh, they both should be fine for that. Uh, Southport was obviously Kenny's last game of 2014. It's yeah. been a year of ups and downs really, hasn't it, for the club? 
Uh, I think off the pitch, yeah, it, it has been a little bit. Um, I think on the pitch, the lads, like I keep saying, I think they've done great. They've been a credit uh, to the club. Uh, you know, the things that have been sort of slight obstacles, that, you know, they've stuck together and we've, we've kept our focus very much on trying to get results on the pitch and, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to do that and keep reaping the rewards which they deserve. And um, heading into the new year, obviously you were just outside the playoffs and um, we still have the FA Trophy, so it's looking quite positive at the moment. Yeah, plenty to look forward to. You know, uh, there's still plenty of football left in the season and, um, you know, we're looking forward to hopefully sustaining or being able to sustain a push for the playoffs. You know, we're going to need a little bit of luck to do that. Uh, but at the minute, like I say, I think the lads have, uh, have been a credit and, uh, and they've done well. And, um, you know, supporters have appreciated the situation they got behind the lads. And, uh, you know, let's, let's keep doing that. And hopefully, you know, we can end the season with a little bit of success.